so even though we have more exposure to sun mm-hmm. why do we have vitamin d deficiency so much vitamin d is nothing but a cholesterol only egg yolks milk meats fish they are rich in vitamin d but uh, why not go for your tap your own stores what do vegetarians do in this case so if you don't have cholesterol under your skin then there is no point sitting in the sun your crp will come down ESR will come down, ferritin levels will come down. So what if someone has some kind of disease mm-hmm. uh, like uh, which is uh, caused by minor deficiency of vitamin D mm-hmm. or calcium. So how do they go about uh, changing their routines and lifestyles without, you know, taking many medicines? A very warm namaste to everyone. Today we are here with Dr. Sharma again. Namaste. So Dr. Sharma, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. So today we're going to talk about a vitamin and the name of that vitamin is vitamin D. Now I've heard a lot about vitamin D even in beauty products and mm-hmm. some consumable products but I've also heard that we get it from sunlight and what not. Yes. Uh, I've also heard that vitamin D deficiency causes diseases. Mm-hmm. So can you tell me a little about that like how does that happen the diseases that come along with vitamin D deficiency? Yes so vitamin D is very important. Uh, in modern day uh, scenarios of, of uh, deficiency of vitamin D is very prevalent. So vitamin D is basically important uh, because it's important for the mineralization of your uh, skeleton. Okay. When you have enough vitamin D, vitamin D carries the calcium in, in your blood mm. to the bones. If there's no vitamin D, calcium, no matter how much calcium you take, it will not reach the bones and there will be no mineralization, there will be no uh, hardening of the skeleton and that's why you will get uh, frequent fractures, osteoporosis can happen where mm-hmm, the bones mm-hmm. become porous mm-hmm. and then uh, body aches, mm-hmm. knee pains, you know, knee, uh, 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 these uh, fractures can happen, uh, back aches mm-hmm. uh, and then uh, it's also important for your brain health, okay. your mood, so you'll suffer from low mood and then signs of aging can come high inflammations, high CRP, mm-hmm. high ferritin, all these happen because uh, if there is low vitamin D. Okay, so it can cause that much? Yes. Okay, then it's important. So it's also important because many hidden, uh, you know, sometimes you don't come to know why things are happening mm-hmm. and then you realize the vitamin D levels are low. Okay. Uh, so it's important and talking of sunlight and also there are two ways in which, in fact, three so you can get vitamin D from the sun mm-hmm. or from a food or for supplements. Mm-hmm. Uh, but in fact, from the sun also you will get only if you eat the right kind of foods. Mm-hmm. So when we eat cholesterol rich foods like ghee, mm-hmm. so uh, this cholesterol goes under the skin. Okay. And uh, sunlight falls on the skin and then this cholesterol turns into vitamin D. Okay. So vitamin D is nothing but a cholesterol only. Mm-hmm. So it's a fat rich uh, vitamin. Yes. And that's why it comes under Sneha in Ayurveda. Mm-hmm. Sneha, Snigdha. It's uh, oily. Okay. And that's why it is uh, anti-aging. And uh, uh, in Ayurveda we used to read uh, that, uh, you know, there are different tissues, level of tissues. Uh, so uh, Rasa, Rakta, Masa, Medha. Meda is fourth. Meda means fats. Mm-hmm. So fats are number four, and after fats is uh, asti, okay. bones. So it's it's uh, written in Ayurveda that your uh, fats mm-hmm. lead to the production of your bones. Okay. So I always used to think, how can fats make bones? But then there is lies the answer. Okay. Uh, this cholesterol mm-hmm. leads to mineralization of your bones. Yes. And then uh, even uh, hair and nails are related to this uh, only to vitamin D and bones and calcium. Mm -hmm. So uh, low vitamin D would also mean problems with hair fall Mm -hmm. and problems with nails. So that's why there are so many health products with vitamin D in it. Yes. So the best form of vitamin D is uh, when you get, uh, make it on your own from Mm -hmm. the sun. Okay. That's best. Otherwise you will have to eat a lot of uh, vitamin D rich foods. Mm Uh, you know a great quantity of that egg yolks milk meats uh, fish Mm -hmm. they're rich in vitamin D but uh, why not go for your tap your own stores yes so you told many many foods right now Mm -hmm. but none of them were vegetarian so what do vegetarians do in this case so vegetarians uh, take uh, 
diets rich in uh, dairy products of course okay so dairy contains dairy vitamin yes uh, um, ghee and uh, milk okay and butter and everything so ghee contains vitamin d and then ghee is cholesterol and it helps it's the raw material for as i said mm -hmm. for making your own vitamin d when you uh, sit in the sun mm -hmm. and expose yourself to sun mm -hmm. so if you don't have cholesterol under your skin mm -hmm. then there's no point sitting in the sun mm -hmm. <laughs> there is um, you know no fun wasted so there has to be raw material which comes from fats okay so the best way to get vitamin d according to the classics ayurveda is you uh, do an um, oil abhyangam mm -hmm. apply oil on the skin mm -hmm. which is uh, sesame seed oil or mustard oil mm -hmm. you apply it on your skin you drink ghee and then you expose to sun that's the best possible vitamin d okay that will cure all vitamin d deficiencies i know at quickly mm -hmm. so that will also allay the fears now many dermatologists have fear that when you expose your skin to the sun. sun too much you will get skin cancer yes. especially in western countries where uh, skin is very sensitive and uh, unlike tropical skins yes so herein lies the Ayur ayurvedic answer you don't just expose you first uh, oil yourself mm -hmm. uh, the protective layering of oil mm -hmm. will of course like sesame oil sesame will have its own calcium and iron mm -hmm. so it will give you calcium plus it will protect against the cancer causing effects of the sunlight okay and then you drink ghee and and that's the answer for vitamin d deficiency simple okay honestly and you will have better mood better uh, you know slower aging mm. better uh, <coughs> you will be able to fight better against these inflammations mm -hmm. your crp will come down esr will come down mm -hmm. ferritin levels will come down mm -hmm. so you told dairy can give us vitamin mm -hmm. d so can butter and ghee both give us vitamin d yes so what's the difference between butter and ghee then basically ghee is clarified butter as you know milk is uh, fermented into uh, yogurt mm -hmm. dahi and this yogurt is churned mm -hmm. it's churned and it produces butter okay and that butter is heated on a slow flame mm -hmm. a very slow flame and the solids of the butter they settle down mm -hmm. and ghee comes on top so ghee is clarified butter only so ghee has all the qualities but it is more sukshma as we call it in ayurveda in uh, more sukshma or minute mm -hmm. it has more minute qualities and uh, it can penetrate dri deeper into the tissues and bones and brain so that's why smriti medha uh, these cognitive faculties mm -hmm. or you can say the qualities of the brain brain boosting intelligence boosting memory boosting qualities are found in ghee only okay. they are not mentioned in uh, in butter mm -hmm. butter is more for uh, physical enhancement so mm -hmm. butter is for wrestlers better and uh, uh, ghee is for intellectuals better okay. intellectual strength and the other is for physical strength even though ghee gives physical strength as yes. well so ghee is i would say more complete mm -hmm. and more sophisticated so uh, there is no benefit of calcium if you are not taking vitamin d yes so are there any food sources like milk that give us the complete package of vitamin d and calcium as well yes so milk has both mm -hmm. and uh, so you get calcium as well as uh, yes mm -hmm. but again uh, it also gives you the ability as uh, to produce your own the milk also give milk and ghee give you the cholesterol mm -hmm. so you get the ability to produce your own uh, which is always better mm -hmm. otherwise you'll have to drink uh, lots and lots of ghee uh, this milk to meet your uh, requirements of vitamin d okay but with a little exposure to sun it, it's easy so what if someone has some kind of disease mm -hmm. uh, like uh, which is uh, caused by minor deficiency of vitamin d mm -hmm. or calcium so how do they go about uh, changing their routines and lifestyles without you know taking many medicines yes yeah, so the best way is uh, to include more healthy fats mm -hmm. like ghee mm -hmm. and dairy in mm -hmm. their diet that's the best possible way okay ghee is the super food mm -hmm. and of course as i said applying uh, sesame oil from the outside and then exposing to sun uh, that will be the best possible way so can we not apply ghee to outer body parts yeah that's a good question so in ayurveda uh, the best uh, uh, 
uh, fat for application mm -hmm. is oil. Mm -hmm. As you know, there are four types of fats in Ayurveda. Okay. Gritam, Tailam, Vasam, Majja. So, Grit is one, ghee, uh, which of course comes from animals. Eight types of ghee mentioned in Ayurveda mm -hmm. could be cow, sheep, buffalo, goat, and, and you know, eight different types. Yes. That's ghee. Then, Tailam, oils. Oils, of course, is a vegetable source. It comes from, it could be coconut oil from coconut plants or various kind of seed oils, sesame oil, mustard oil. Okay. This is number two. And then uh, vasa and marja. Vasa is the animal uh, fat, mm -hmm. uh, basically organ fat from the animals. Okay. If you're eating liver or uh, kidneys or other organs, mm -hmm. that's uh, vasa. Mm -hmm. And marja is the bone marrow. Okay. The fat inside the bone of your uh, of the animals meat. Okay. So these are the four uh, uh, four types of uh, fats. Mm -hmm. Tatrapi uttamam sarpi. Sarpi means ghee, and uttamam means best. Among these four, ghee is the best. Okay. Uh, considered the best because uh, ghee can uh, ghee has thousand different kinds of functions. It can combine with different uh, foods. It helps improve absorption. Mm -hmm of uh, different foods so among these four uh, for application on the skin uh, these oils are best okay especially sesame seed oil the molecular structure is such that it penetrates through the skin better mm -hmm. ghee has uh, less skin penetration it is more for oiling the inside okay so once you uh, take uh, ghee you eat it mm -hmm. and then it slowly comes under the skin as cholesterol and then the sunlight falls on this while the oil will uh, come from outside better okay so the best way to consume ghee and vitamin d is by consuming ghee and then sitting in the sunlight with of course ghee inside you yes maybe oiling your body parts yes so it's not that one fine day you drink ghee and you sit in the sun it has to be a habit <laughs> yes so how many times should we do it in a week Oh, it can be uh, not, uh, you know, even 15 minutes every day okay. can be enough. Okay. You don't need to burn yourself. Yeah. <laughs> we should we should not fry ourselves in the yes. uh -huh. uh, sun. So, 15 minutes is enough. Yeah. Is there also a time in the day or we can sit any time? Uh, any time is better. Mm -hmm. Especially early hours are better. Okay. The morning time is yes. better. Okay. So, you said like, Tropical countries have better vitamin D yes. consuming because of ghee and everything Because else. of uh, exposure, more exposure to sun. Okay. So, even though we have more exposure to sun, mm -hmm. why do we have vitamin D deficiency so much? Uh, so, again that relates to diet. Mm -hmm. When we uh, stop eating these cholesterol rich foods. Mm -hmm because we think that they will bring about some uh, heart disease or something which is absolutely false okay so i think we should also do a, a you know a talk on ghee yes, itself we should yeah. we should do it next i, I would say right yes <laughs> so, okay so uh, i would say low consumption of dairy <laughs> uh, because uh, uh, as such, the wheat, uh, in this culture, we eat less of fish and uh, meats. Mm -hmm. So, the dairy was the sole source of uh, cholesterol, yes. which of course leads to vitamin D. So, that would be the major reason. Okay. So, even if you're exposed to sun, but without this, there's no fun. And uh, uh, when we shift to veganism, mm -hmm. wherein we stay away from all kinds of animal food, we are in a serious risk of uh, vitamin D deficiency, vitamin mm -hmm. B12 deficiency. And then people rely on supplements, but the supplemental uh, uh, structure, the isomers are different mm -hmm. from the natural sources. So, supplements okay. can be harmful as well. So, someone is taking vitamin D, let's mm -hmm. assume that I am taking vitamin D mm -hmm. and I take in too much vitamin D. Mm -hmm. So, what would happen if I am consuming too much of vitamin D or too much of calcium with vitamin D? Yes, too much of calcium, vitamin D can really, uh, you know, uh, so it's uh, causing mineralization as you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's hardening. Mm -hmm. Calcium is hard. It makes hard bones. Mm -hmm. So when there's too much, you will get uh, things like uh, stones. Okay. Stony heart, more earth element. Prithvi gun, we say, more Prithvi gun comes in, mm -hmm. and stone formation can be there, which then uh, has to be treated. Okay. So uh, natural uh, vitamin D, the body will take care. Body will not produce extra. It will only produce as much it mm -hmm. needs. It's the supplements which are the culprits. When you keep taking supplements, supplements. Yes then uh, you're more prone to 
uh, over over consuming over it. Consuming yeah. it. Otherwise, in nature, uh, there's absolutely no problem. Okay. So, first of all, we should stick to dairy products if you're yes. vegetarian. Yes. Maybe even add some uh, animal products if you are a non-vegetarian. Yeah. Uh, sitting in the sun, one thing that you told us yes. in the morning, uh, with oil applied on the on yes. our body parts. So, as you know, there was sun salutations in our culture, Surya Namaskar. Yes. That was for this only to expose yourself. Oh, okay. the early morning sun. Okay, okay. And uh, people used to do it with the uh, oil applied. Okay. So now it's become fashionable, but it's okay. related to vitamin D only. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So in Ayurveda, there is no mention. You can, you might ask me now, what does Ayurveda say about vitamin D? Mm-hmm. Ayurveda, so, Ayurveda, Ayurveda is a holistic science. Mm-hmm. It is a whole package. It will not break things down into into these vitamins and micro concepts mm-hmm. because when you consume ghee you're taking care of everything yes when you consume dairy or ghee or meat you're taking care of uh, all the vitamins minerals everything so there's no point in so it's only when we became selective in our eating mm-hmm. we said okay no fats no this only only vegan only you know salads fruits yes that's when deficiencies came in mm-hmm. And there came in a need, okay, I have this deficiency, I need this very supplement. Mm-hmm. But Ayurveda, you know, the nature foods are a complete uh, package. So, uh, there is no such uh, mention, but still, vitamin D would come under Sneha. Okay. Uh, Snake the Guna, mm-hmm. which means fat, it's a fatty vitamin, it's a cholesterol. Mm-hmm. So, uh, when we eat... Uh, uh, kapha or sneha or fatty foods, mm-hmm. it automatically will rise. Okay. And it needs some agni as well. Mm-hmm. It needs some flame to flame it up, which comes from the sun. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I got it. So I think that sums it up all about vitamin yes. D. Like, what? How do we treat the deficiency we've talked about? How do we get it from sun? How? How not to become? how not to consume too much of vitamin D and calcium, the problems that come with it. And yes, I think that's all for the vitamin D. The next we will talk about ghee. Yes, and it's very I think we should ta- drop it the next week of watching this. So if you're watching this in early December, then that it's probably out. You can go and check it out. Yes, early December is also a good time to consume ghee. Oh, okay. Winters uh, are nice too. Winters okay. are a good time to increase, to ramp up your uh, fats, fatty acid uh, hmm. consumption. As you know, all our uh, winter festivals are feasting festivals. Yes. Uh, everywhere in the world, mm-hmm. the winter festivals you will be they will involve some kind of eating, mm. rich foods. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas uh, summer and uh, f- uh, uh, spring festivals will yes. be fasting festivals. Mm. You will be fasting. Yes by praying to God or anything, but they will involve some kind of fasting because that's the time to detox and mm. eat less of rich foods. So it's a good time, I think, to make a blog on <laughs> vitamin yes. D and fats. Yes. Because dryness also increases in this, uh, as the cold comes in and uh, the dryness increases. People start consuming So uh, it's important to consume fats. Okay. So I think that's all. <laughs> and me and Dr. Sharma will see you in the next podcast. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video. I keep watching for more updates and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Namaste.